In this hands-on lab, we'll explore how to schedule and automate data workflows on AWS. We'll start by creating an AWS Glue workflow to run batch ETL jobs on a schedule, then use Amazon EventBridge to trigger streaming pipelines based on real-time events, and finally, we'll configure Amazon CloudWatch alarms to monitor ingestion metrics and detect failures automatically. Let's begin by creating a Glue ETL job. In the AWS Glue console, start by creating a new job that reads data from an S3 bucket and writes the transformed output to another S3 bucket or database. First, configure the source. Here, we'll use a CSV file stored in S3 as the input. Next, define the transformation step. In this example, we're selecting specific columns from the dataset. Finally, configure the target location where the transformed data will be written. Before we run the job, make sure to assign an IAM role with permissions to access both the source and destination S3 buckets. I'm selecting this role because it has the required permissions for both locations. Once everything is set, go ahead and run the job. You'll see that the job has now started executing. Now, let's automate it by creating a Glue workflow. Navigate to the Workflow section in the AWS Glue console and click Add Workflow. Give your workflow a descriptive name, such as Daily Batch Workflow. Next, add a trigger to the workflow. Name it, and set the trigger type to scheduled. We'll configure it to run daily at 1 am. Then, attach the ETL job we created earlier as the target for this trigger. Once done, run a quick test execution to validate the setup. As you can see, the workflow has started successfully, confirming that our batch ETL job will now run automatically on schedule. Next, let's automate real-time data workflows using Amazon EventBridge. Go to the EventBridge console and choose Create Rule. 
Provide a name for the rule, such as trigger kinesis stream. Set the event source to Amazon S3, and choose object created as the event type. This means the rule will trigger whenever a new object is uploaded to a specific S3 bucket. For the target, we'll choose a kinesis data stream. If no stream exists yet, create a new one now, and then refresh the event bridge page to see it in the list. To ensure the rule functions correctly, create or assign an IAM role that allows EventBridge to access the S3 bucket and publish events to Kinesis. Once permissions are in place, go ahead and create the EventBridge rule. Now, let's test the setup. Upload a new file to the S3 bucket specified in the rule. This action should automatically trigger the event bridge rule and push an event into the Kinesis data stream. To verify this, navigate to the Kinesis console and open the data viewer. You should now see the S3 event delivered to the stream, confirming that our real-time event-driven pipeline is working as expected. Finally, let's set up monitoring and alerts using Amazon CloudWatch. Go to the CloudWatch console and open the Logs section. Here, you can view log groups for Glue Jobs, Kinesis Analytics, or other services involved in the workflow. Next, navigate to Alarms Create Alarm. Choose a metric to monitor. For example, glue.failed.all, which tracks the number of failed glue job runs. Set the statistic to sum, the period to 5 minutes, and the condition to greater than 1. This means CloudWatch will trigger an alarm if more than one job run fails within a 5-minute window. Now, configure an SNS topic to send notifications. You can choose to receive alerts by email, or trigger a Lambda function for automated remediation. Give your alarm a clear name and then create it. You'll see that the CloudWatch alarm has been created successfully, ensuring you're notified promptly if ingestion jobs fail or exceed thresholds. And that's it. We've successfully automated a complete data workflow on AWS. We created a scheduled ETL job with AWS Glue workflows, set up event bridge rules to trigger streaming pipelines in response to S3 events, and used CloudWatch to monitor metrics and send alerts for job failures. Don't forget to clean up the resources you created in this lab to avoid incurring unnecessary charges.